Hi everyone, and welcome back to Cute Life Hacks. This project was inspired by some things that I got inside DIY mystery boxes. If you haven't seen it yet, then be sure to watch the full video of me unboxing mystery craft supplies here. One of the grab bags contained this gorgeous iridescent fabric, which reminded me of the very first YouTube video I made. So based on that, I decided to go with a star theme and turn these into a shiny, squishy phone case. Of course, these are a lot more similar to paper squishies than silicone or foam-based squishies. To learn more about the different types, you can check out this video here. And if you're not part of the Macaroon and Cute Life Hacks family yet, then just hit that subscribe button to become a cutie nature. I have tons of tutorials and giveaways coming up soon, so you don't want to miss those. To get started, you'll need a clear phone case, any fabric of your choice, a hot glue gun, polyester stuffing or cotton wool, and some scrap card. This type of cardboard is super cheap and easy to find. I'm using an old tissue box, but you can also cut open cereal or pasta boxes. Find a small piece with a long edge like this and draw some cat ear shapes on it. Each one should be a slightly different size like mine here. Then cut everything out and you'll get these triangles with two slightly curved edges and one straight edge. Take a larger piece of card and place one of the triangles on top. Now trace along the flat edge to create a pentagon shape. You might need to reposition the piece a few times before finding the perfect angle so that all five sides are the same length. Once you have your pentagon, flip the template around and trace out a star like this. This method gives you a cute and almost perfectly symmetrical star. Then repeat the process with the other pieces to create many stars in different sizes. Some people might be wondering, why go into all that trouble with tracing when you can just draw a star directly onto the card? This can work, but it's extremely difficult to draw a perfectly symmetrical freehand star. As you can see, I was actually surprised at how badly mine turned out, considering that I actually have a lot of drawing experience. Even after correcting the shape while cutting it out, you can still see that the two stars look very different. So I would always recommend using the cat ear method, and of course you can create these stars in any size for any project. If you want to make a phone case, then start by checking that all the stars fit nicely on top. Now take a fabric, and I've linked the Etsy shop where I bought mine from below. Even though it was part of a mystery box, based on the photos, it looks like that every bag contains at least a few pieces of this shiny fabric. You only need a tiny piece for this DIY, so you can make tons of stars if you want to. Place your template onto the fabric and trace around it, leaving a generous border all around the outside. Then add some extra guidelines exactly like I'm doing here. Now cut everything out and take care not to go over the lines when creating the slits. This actually looks a lot like a cherry blossom. Place your star in the center and check that there's enough fabric on all sides to fold over. Apply a small line of hot glue and then press the tab closed. I recommend using scissors or a toothpick for this part because you'll definitely get burned if you try pressing it down with your fingers. Once both sides are glued shut, take some cotton wool or stuffing and carefully push it into the corner of the star. Then continue gluing down the next two tabs. I found it easier to use a mini hot glue gun for this project because it makes thinner lines. Sadly, normal glue won't work for this because it takes too long to dry and trying to stuff it will most likely rip the fabric back open. Repeat this method until you've completed four corners of the star. 
Once you reach the final corner, begin by just sticking down one side. Then add as much stuffing as you can so it looks as puffy as all the other corners. And lastly, just flip it around and glue down the final tab. Now you have a cute puffy star that you can press and squish. This tutorial works with many types of fabrics, so try experimenting with any scrap pieces that you have around. Next, I'm just repeating everything to make the pink star. Strangely enough, I actually found that making smaller stars was easier than making bigger ones. Even though it was a tiny bit fiddlier to cut out and fold the small tabs, the stuffing part went smoother and the final result looks better as well. Each of these took about 5 to 10 minutes to make and you'll become a lot faster after you get the hang of it. These puffy stars are super versatile, so if you don't want to make a phone case, then you can always turn them into jewelry, hair accessories, room decor, or stickers. If you're making it as a gift, then you can also add letters or initials on them. So now I'm going to take my phone case and arrange all the pieces on top. For the next part, I used hot glue, but I realized that E6000 or silicone-based deco whip are much better for attaching things to flexible phone cases. Hot glue will often fall off smooth surfaces after a few days, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Try not to lift the stars too much when applying the glue, since you want them to stay in exactly the same position. And finally, just pop your phone into the case and you're done. This is a super cheap and easy DIY that's great for using up leftover materials. You can also try making other shapes like hearts or letters. I love phone cases with unusual textures or movements since it's something that you always have in your hand and it's fun to play with. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to watch the first part of this video where I unbox lots of DIY grab bags. This is Joanna, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!